Greetings to our listeners. Let me begin by introducing myself as Edwin Matthew, one of the four members who spearheaded this project titled IoT Enabled Solar Smart Inverter. The others include John Francis, Abhinav AP, and Jeff and Matthew. Inverters are something so elementary and widespread in usage across homes and industries today. With the progress in technology and the advent of a smart world, devices such as even an inverter are bound to undergo rapid developments and ultimately enhance human comfort. With rising demand for renewable energy in view of massive pollution and surge in population, applications of inverter are expected to rise to dampen the existing pressure on utility grids to depend on conventional energy sources. The objective of this proposal aims at creating an efficient solar inverter implementing maximum power point tracking and IoT enabled load control along with a battery health monitoring system. The operational information is also made available on a cloud website. The block diagram depicted here encapsulates the entire system. Moving on, the hardware require requirements include the following. A current sensor. An ACS 712 30 ampere sensor is used to give accurate measurements based on the Hall effect. It's part of the VHMS. Next, we have an ultrasonic sensor. The most common HCSR04 sensor is used to measure electrolyte levels in the battery. Again, it's part of the VHMS. Then we have an Arduino Uno, which is a really popular microcontroller. It's used in the realization of BHMS and IoT load control. Next, we have a Wi-Fi module, which is used to relay information to IoT platform, and it's incorporated within BHMS. Next, we have a relay module, which is used for remote switching of loads. It's part of the load control system. Then we have a solar cells, which is what feeds power to the system. The proposed system uses a 12-volt, 215 watts PV panel. And finally, a node MCU, which is a microcontroller driver for the relay module, facilitating as a central coordinator for all sensors. The software used within the context of this system are the Arduino IDE, which, is, which was used for writing and uploading codes to the Arduino microcontroller, the Proteus Design Suit, which was used for simulations of the BHMS and IoT load control, and finally MATLAB, which was used to simulate both the inverter and the MPPT controller. The entire electrical design of the proposed system can be divided into four parts for the sake of simplicity. To begin with, we have the MPPT controller which is used for maximum power point tracking. Its principle is based on the impedance matching between the photovoltaic side and the battery side. The maximum power point of a PV panel varies depending on irradiance, temperature and electrical characteristic of the load and various other parameters. Therefore, an algorithm is required to continuously examine and identify the maximum power point such that the system functions appropriately. The algorithm realized here is the common perturb and observe method. It's done by comparing instantaneous values of power with a reference value and suitable changes are made by changing the duty cycle of MOSFETs such that the operating point of the PV panel approaches maximum power point. Next, we have a MOSFET controlled full bridge inverter to convert the DC voltage level to AC voltage of 230 volt magnitude with a 50 Hz frequency in conjunction with a single phase domestic loads. A sinusoidal message signal of 50 Hz is modulated using a sawtooth carrier waveform of high frequency. This sine pulse width modulated waveform is used to trigger four MOSFET switches at the rate of 50 Hz to create a sinusoidal output signal. The signal goes through a LC filter to restrict harmonics and it's finally stepped up using a step up transformer to feed loads. Next we have the IoT and load switching section. The loads to be applied are connected through relay modules and these loads can be controlled remotely using a smartphone application called Blink. The Blink app provides a characteristic code which is used while programming the Arduino so that the system only responds to the user's smartphone. A connection is established between the Blink app and the control system using another application called Virtual Serial Port Emulator. The code is generated using Blink libraries installed in the Arduino. The switching of loads are possible with just a touch on the smartphone upon which digital signals are sent to the node MCU which actuates the relay to control connected loads. Finally, the battery health monitoring system for proper maintenance of one of the most expensive components of the solar inverter system, the battery. It records the state of charge, electrolyte levels and discharge time and alerts the user of any anomalies. A potential divider arrangement and an ADC is used to measure the terminal voltage and SOC from which battery health can be determined. 
An ultrasonic sensor is used to keep track of electrolyte levels. ACS712 sensor is used to record the current and use, and use it to calculate the remaining discharge time of the battery. All of this information is made available on an LCD display and an IoT platform called ThinkSpeak using a Wi-Fi module. The figure 9 shows the MATLAB simulation of the MPPT controller. The figure 10 shows the current versus voltage and power versus voltage characteristics of the selected PV panel for weighting irradiance on it. The dots on the characteristics represent the respective maximum power points. Now figure 11 shows the maximum power points upon weighting irradiance. This figure shown here is the Proteus simulation of the IoT enabled load control for two sample light loads as shown in the figure. The figure 12 shows the Proteus simulation of the PHMS. All recorded information is made available using a LCD display and even on an IoT platform. Figure 13 shows the Thinkercad model incorporating a Wi-Fi module and Figure 14 shows the Windows screenshot of the ThinkSpeak IoT platform which is an open source firmware. And finally, Figure 15 shows the simulating model of a pure sine wave inverter. And the figure that follows it is the output waveform of the voltage which is measured across the load. So to conclude, as technology progresses, we will see more incorporations of IT in electronic and electrical appliances. The system designed here is a complete integration of a renewable energy source with IoT, which is capable of giving all operational details in real time to the user concerned. Thank you.